from Hollywood, it's the Tom Mikey Show. We're trying to help the children. And now, and now, here he is, Tom Likas. Thank you for tuning in to the Tom Likas Show. This is where America gets together to talk about the issues you really care about. It's a different kind of radio talk program. We're the radio talk show that is not hosted by a right-wing wacket or a convicted felon. No, I am your host. Write down our toll-free telephone number. You're going to need it. It's 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. Thank you for tuning in. Thanks for being part of our program. Here we are together again on the radio. Here is a uh, gossipy little story here from the Arizona Republic. That's a newspaper, yes. Not a place. I have to read the billboard here? It didn't say anything about the billboard on the screen. What happened to the Dago? He didn't put the billboard up there. Oh, my bad, he writes on the screen now. Start the hour again. I want to do this right. They paid good money for this. We're going to do it right. We're going to pretend that never happened. All right, here we go. From Hollywood, it's the the, the, the Tom Mikey Show. We're trying to help the children. And now, and now, here he is, Tom Mikey. Thank you for tuning in to the Tom Mikey Show. This is where America gets together to talk about the issues you really care about. It's a different kind of a radio talk program with a radio talk show that is not hosted by Right Wing Racco. Or I can make a fellow know I am your host. My dad, I told me a telephone number you're going to need is 1 800 500 at Tom, 1 800 500 866. And Tom, I wanted to get in before the music runs out. The Tom Langer Show brought to you in part by HR Block. You got people. For an office near you, call 1 800 HR Block or visit hrblock.com. And then the music trails out. See, that's how it's supposed to sound. But I had to go very fast to get it in because the bed isn't long enough. We're going to fix that. We're going to make it so that when I finish reading the billboard, then the bed drops out. The way that sounded, that's the way it's supposed to sound. A little inside radio for you. (laughs) You know how that works. One time I was listening to a radio personality in Chicago reading a uh, a tag for a commercial. And it, he read it like this. American Express uh, is uh, accepted at fine stores like store name here. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't realize there was a list of stores. He was supposed to insert the next store into the copy. Just one of those things. All right. Now, uh, just so I know, uh, do we have billboards the rest of the day? All right, good. Just in case Dean accidentally erases anything again. All right, because I don't want to... Let me just make sure I keep that billboard up here on my screen. I don't want to forget to read it again. All right. (laughs) What's my topic today, anyway? Keep your pants on. All right. What's your topic tonight, anyway? There we go. I'm going to get everybody up to speed. This is how we're going to... I'm going to do Radio 101 here. I'm going to get everybody up to speed. All right, here it is. This is a gossipy little number here from the Arizona Republic. It's a newspaper, not a place. Okay, that's what I said. Now now we're going to get to the story. Here it is. It says here, Britney Spears frantically sent her boyfriend 100 text messages a day. His secret lover has claimed. Again, I'm quoting the Arizona Republic. I don't know if he has secret lovers. I don't know if any of this stuff is true. I'm reading it from the website of the Arizona Republic. Don't blame me if any of this stuff is wrong. Go sue the Arizona Republic. Don't sue me. I'm just reading what they wrote. 
Says here, the singer who has an on-off relationship with paparazzo Adnan Galib. You know, paparazzi is a plural, right? And the singular form is paparazzo. Did you care? Probably not. The singer who has an on-off relationship with paparazzo Adnan Galib was terrified he was cheating on her. So it says here, she constantly bombarded him with calls and messages. By the way, that's a sure way to find out if someone's cheating on them. Call 80 million times a day to the point where they don't answer the phone or respond to any texts anymore. <laughs> you really don't know. Can I be honest with you? When I have cheated on somebody, I have ignored hundreds of text messages, hundreds of phone calls. I Also, by the way, I have answered the phone when I have been with other people. And I have said, no, I'm just sitting here in my room doing nothing. I think I'm going to go to bed early tonight. And that, yeah, exactly. That's right. That way, when the <laughs> that way when the phone would ring, I would go, "Yeah, well, I know." Phone went to voicemail because I was sleeping. Remember, I told you I was going to sleep. Yes. Says here, Amanda, is that Pagel or Poggle? Who knows? Who cares? This is Amanda's 15 seconds of fame. Who claims she slept with Adnan for three months behind Britney's back. Said, Britney used to call all the time when he was at mine. Mine what? I guess it was supposed to say my place or something like that, and it was... Badly edited. Don't blame me. Blame the Arizona Republic. She sent him hundreds of texts a day, sometimes just seconds apart. Amanda alleged that Adnan, who recently claimed Brittany was pregnant with his child, couldn't cope with the toxic star's crazy lifestyle and wanted to move away with Amanda. She told Look, Ma Look Magazine. What's the matter? The Saturday Evening Post didn't have the story? Is Look Magazine in business? Has anybody seen Look Magazine, much less read it? I, I have doubts about this whole story, but it doesn't matter. It's just a setup for what I'm going to do here. Okay, so just bear with the omissions... <laughs> And the allegations, in some cases which may be unfounded, and references to what I think are defunct magazines. I'll just read the story and then we'll get to them. Because these are just setups anyway. All right? Jesus. There is a Look magazine? What? Wait a minute. Now I see it. There's a there's a website lookmag.com but that's not that's not look magazine. <laughs> that, do the people who used to publish look magazine who own the trademark on that do they know there's a magazine called look magazine? That has nothing to do with the original look magazine. Oh boy. <sighs> anyway. She told Look magazine he was sick of being Mr. Spears. He said the stress was taking its toll, and he hated being pursued by the paparazzi. It's one thing when you're a paparazzo. It's another thing when you're getting paparazzi by the others. See, I just made it an adverb. He asked me to start a new life with him. He said, let's leave Hollywood. Let's live in Italy and start a family. Amanda also says Adnan always insisted he and Brittany were just friends and she would never have slept with him if she knew they were a couple. Earlier this month, it was alleged Brittany had dumped Adnan after finding racy text messages from other women on his phone. A source said at the time there were about a dozen text messages from one girl all sent on one day. They were pretty saucy stuff with sexual references. Certainly not the sort you'd send to just a friend. What makes you think somebody like that is a friend? 
Brittany lost it and started yelling. She was demanding to know who sent the texts and shouting, What's this about? You're cheating on me. All right. Anyway, so I read the story. Look Magazine. That Did that look like Look Magazine to you, Gary? No. The real look went under. Like, the real look went under. But, but doesn't somebody... See, Look Magazine has come back from the dead at least once, and I think more than once. Somebody owns that service mark or the trademark or the logo or whatever, the name. Even if the magazine isn't publishing, somebody owns it. You can't come out with Look Magazine any more than I could come out with the Saturday Evening Post. You're kidding me, right? If I started publishing Screw Magazine, Al Goldstein would come up from under that freeway overpass. He'd sue me. Tell you right now. Anyway, here's the deal. All right, there you go. Here's the allegation Britney Spears said. About 100 text messages a day, according to this story of the Arizona Republic, which claims a magazine called Look Magazine, which, in my mind, cannot legally be using the name Look Magazine, but there it is. Okay, fine. 100 text messages a day. Now, I have a hard and fast rule. The minute I think a chick is starting to get clingy or too inquisitive about my whereabouts through text messaging, I shut that crap down. I shut it down. I don't respond anymore. I say that I, you know, I was cutting my bill, I had to get rid of my text messaging, whatever, and then I do. It's that simple. Because I just will not, you know, to me, it's like another electronic handcuff text messaging. You know what I'm saying? Most of the stuff people say in text messages, you could just as easily say on the telephone. Seriously. But people insist on sending these text messages. But I'm wondering if you are with somebody like that, somebody who just can't stop with the text messaging. They can't stop. And it's not just the messages they're sending. You know, you, you, you're driving your car, and the phone is beeping or buzzing or booping or whatever it's doing. And, you know, you take one hand off the wheel to pick up the phone, turn the screen on, or flip the phone open, and it's a goddamn wink. <laughs> or it's, it's like the word hugs, H-U-G-Z, or something like that. Stop it! Stop with that crap. Stop. <laughs> that stuff drives me insane. If you have nothing substantive to say, you just shut up and spread your legs, okay? Please, just shut up. But don't be sending me these text messages. By the way, how do you know people aren't paying for these? You know, there are some uh, cell phone companies that charge you five cents or ten cents for every text message. Everybody doesn't have unlimited text messaging. Why would you send a text message that is a wink? Or like a little like a little uh, emoticon with like a halo or something. What are you doing? Half the time it's just designed to try to get somebody's attention away from whatever it is they're doing or whoever it is they're doing. So my question for you is, are you with somebody who overuses the text messaging thing? And somebody who is just constantly, they can't stop. They're telling you stuff they could have waited until they saw you. And in many cases, they're just doing this because they're suspicious about what you're up to. If you are dating somebody like that, I need to know about it. Tom Likas, 1-800-5800-TOM, 1-800-5800-866. All women are not holding. I didn't say all women are, but uh, an awful lot of them are. And the bottom line is, this way you're free to do what or whoever you want. Wow, are you serious? That's right. Are you married, Tom? No, I'm not. Oh, my God. It's the Tom Likas Show. Show. one 800 800 Tom. Thank you for tuning in. Thanks for being part of our program. Stop with the goddamn text messaging, huh? John of the Tom Likas Show. Hello. 
Tom. John. How's it going, Tom? It's a pleasure. It's going great, John. That's great. That's great. Well, yeah, I'm calling up about this topic that you're talking about today. Um, what can I say about this girl, man? She keeps on texting me when I'm trying to, to go out with other girls and do my thing. This other girl keeps blowing on my phone. Why do you tolerate it? I do tell her. I tell her that. No, I said, why? No, no, you didn't hear what I said. I'm I said, sorry? why Why do you tolerate it? Oh, no, well, I don't. I mean, I, I, I told her plenty of times that I don't want to talk to her anymore and that I'm done with her. But, like, even at work, when I'm at work, I don't get any reception in my building. So when I come outside for my break, there's, like, seven, eight, or even nine text messages from this. Have from you this have you called the cell phone company about this? Um, I have in the past. And they said that they actually can't prevent like incoming text messages from that happening. Well, it depends on uh, which cell phone company. For example, I have Sprint. I have T-Mobile, Tom. I well, I have Sprint, and if you go to the Sprint website, you can block up to fifty different sources of text messages at a time. I might have to do that just to get this girl to stop texting me because it's getting out of hand, man. Last time I was with this girl at it was like three in the morning, and I literally have to turn my phone off just to. Uh, enjoy sex with other girls because my phone is constantly vibrating and just out of control basically do you know what i have done to prevent text messaging what have you done tom i uh give check i have like a couple of phone numbers at home mm. and i give them my like second phone number and i forward that phone to my cell phone okay so there yeah, are well, there I mean, are no text messages because they they don't have my actual cell phone number so they just forward to your other phone, right? Or well, yeah, but when they try to send me a text message, there is no text message. Oh, okay, okay. Oh my God, I'm gonna have to get something like that because this girl's really getting out of hand. I mean, every time on my break when I go out from work and like three hours, every three hours, there's literally like seven or eight text messages coming in just from this girl alone. And on weekends when I'm trying to enjoy myself with other other girls, I I can't even like enjoy it because my phone is constantly vibrating. I have to put it on silent. Or I, I literally turn it off most of the time. It's off when I'm on, on dates with other girls and when I'm trying to like, uh, especially when I'm trying to have sex with other girls, I have to turn it off. Wow. Yeah, so it's just getting it to that point well, where, but... I mean, I, 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 I really want to change my number, but I've actually had my phone number for well over four years. So I know a lot of people. Well, another way you can do it, uh, like uh, Sprint, for example, uh, gives you, uh, um, I think they give you like a free second phone number. So what I would do is take my current main number and make it my second phone, Uh leave the phone turned off, and that way you just check the voicemails. Yeah, that, that, that's great. That, that could do that as well. That'll work out fine. You could try that to uh, get a second uh, number from T-Mobile. Yeah. And uh, just well, a sec and a second phone. You don't even need to have a phone for the other number. You could just call in and check the voicemail. Kind of like a voicemail, right? Yeah. Right. What I'm thinking is my, my contract is almost over, so I'm going to just uh, take your advice, switch to Sprint, and just block this bitch because she's really getting on my nerves. I mean, my contract is over like in two months. so Block I'm that bitch. Switch, yeah, switch over and then just block this bitch because it's really getting out of hand. And, I, and it, of course, they could just switch my number over to Sprint, and I'll be I'll be good to go like that. Good for you. Okay, well, thanks for the advice, Tom. All right, John, I'm here to help. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Nathan on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hello, Tom. Hello, Nathan. How's it going, Tom? My girl likes to do the argument on text messaging. That is the worst. I can't stand when that bitch does that. Why do you uh, fight with anybody? I don't understand. If someone's fighting with you, it's time to end it. Yeah, well, you know what I've been doing, Tom? I purposely don't charge my phone. So then when I get a couple of text messages, it just dies. And then I have to no, like, but, but my point is, why do you even indulge it? I mean, do you ever respond to this stuff? I do for a bit. Like, why? Wait, wait, wait. Why? Why do you do it? I don't know. I guess just acknowledge that you text, but Why? I, I no. But you, you're doing the wrong thing. You ever have a stray cat at your front door? <laughs> huh? Ever had one? Yeah, yeah, a couple times. Ever put food out for the stray cat? No. Well, 
You know what happens when people put food out for the stray cat? Yeah, it keeps coming back. Keeps coming back. Every time you respond to a text message, even if you only respond to one out of ten, you're encouraging the stray cat to send another text message. Yeah, well, you see, that's why, you know, I don't charge it, so after a while, it just stops. You know, and then no, but wait, no, but you shouldn't. You shouldn't start. True, true. Very Why true. do you do it? Are you pussy whipped? No, I'm not. Then tell me why you do. Why do you indulge her? Honestly, I don't know, Tom. Well, then stop doing it. Yeah, most likely you're gonna have to. Not most likely. I will. We'll have to. You will stop. Yes. She will stop when you stop. Yeah, you know, you're always right, Tom. Damn straight I am. 1-800-5800-TOM. It's Cindy on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hi, Tom. Hi. Hi. I just wanted to make a comment about what you're talking about. Um, I actually caught my boyfriend cheating through text messages. Yeah. I think was yeah. He, um... I had left his apartment, and I got a text message, I think five minutes later, and it said, um, Hi, Kim, Cindy just left. Come on up, and we'll do what we planned on. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the thing is, though, we had been going out for five years. De Dean was at my house uh, up in Santa Barbara County over the weekend, and while he was sitting in my living room of my, my new home, I got a text message. I look at it, and it's from Dean saying he's still at my house. <laughs> now, he's lucky he didn't say something else. Like, we're stuck here. We have to eat dinner. I can't leave yet, or something like that, because because he was, like, that close. Just saying something that, that he would not have wanted me to see. <laughs> Dean says that's not fair, but come on. You know, you know how bad that could be, Dean. Do you know how bad that could have been if you said? And come on, I, you, you gotta get sick of me once in a while. Every now and then, there's got to be something you want to say to somebody about me. Th come in, come on, yeah, of course, come in. Why not, Dean? <laughs> Dean's gonna come in. Dean is all flipped out now because he thinks I'm not being fair. All right, Dean. <laughs> now, 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 come on. I, I, I'm. You're human. I'm human. There's got, there has got to be, there's got to be a time every now and then when I, I ask too much of you or I'm too demanding or something. There's got to be something. Actually, to tell you the truth, this is, I took a page out of your book and this is the truth. Uh, <laughs> you know how you have those saved pictures of places like you're in line at the bank or yes. at the supermarket? Yes. Well, I took a page out of your book and was saying that I am. I'm just hanging out. I'm sorry, I got to plug. Who was that message supposed to be for? Uh, I said that I was, you know, I make it seem like wherever I was, it was boring. You know, like, you know, I'm sitting here, it's cold, so I'm but sitting here by the to fire. Me. But I didn't mean to send it to you. But, but then I'm looking at it. Yeah, but I don't mind. It didn't really have anything racy. I, I just, I, didn't I actually say it was listened. racy, but, you know, I'm sitting there, I'm making dinner for the guys. And they, well, we're having this uh, great time hanging out in my new house and everything. Yeah. Then I get this message from you. It sounds like you're just kind of marking time. No, but you, you will admit, though. <laughs> It was intended for a girl, but it was it was saying. I didn't that, know who it was intended for. Well, why could, would have been, could have been your dad, could have been a friend of yours, could have been anybody. If I was sending you a text and I'm sitting next to you saying I'm could freezing, could have been your buddy Russ. You could have been sent him a message. Yeah, I'm you know, just kind of sitting around here. Just no, that's not fair. That's just not, kind of marking time. No, I didn't send <laughs> anything that was disparaging. I just said I'm sitting by your fireplace and I'm freezing. That's all. I just wanted to make that perfectly and then clear. I, then I find out that find out you're freezing. You couldn't tell me you're freezing. You had to send a message to somebody that ended up coming to me anyway. But it, it was, once again, to indicate that I was... Sure wish you could be here with us. <laughs> I didn't say that. Get out of here. You sent that to me instead. <laughs> oh, my God. No, I hate these guys. They're I, always breaking my balls. How can you possibly... How can you guys possibly... could be in your arms. Oh, my God. How can you both sit here and say that? You know, I was... I was having the best time, uh, actually. Oh, I was. Now he says he's having the best time, but there he is sending messages. Yeah, I'm kind of stuck here. No, I didn't say that. You're changing my text. The of They're making me smoke pot. 
<laughs> They're making me smoke pot and eat handmade meatballs. Come on, man. I, I took 56 pictures of a place I was bored at. Please, I was having a nice time. Oh, my God. Gotta I, be careful those texts. Yeah, but it, you will, you're changing the verbiage on my text. I didn't say that I'm stuck here. I said I'm freezing, so I'm sitting by the fireplace. As That's soon as it. I fix my flat tire, I'll be right all in. <laughs> oh, my God. You got to bring up the flat tire. I have, I got a flat tire, too. It, yes. Forget it. I won't even fix it. I'm coming home anyway. Oh, my God. So Can't that, wait to be in your arms. <laughs> So I'm surprised you took that as as an no, insult because I I, I'm not taking. I'm just giving you a hard time. I, mean, I didn't take don't, it. Don't feel bad. I already, I I already busted his balls about that. it though. I was all over oh, it. All the way, all the way back to LA. <laughs> oh, no, 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 Tom. <laughs> almost instantaneously, he dragged me outside to your retractable roof pool that you have. Yes. In a lap pool, and he's like, "Way to go! You really messed up with Tom. <laughs> you sent him a text saying you were cold at his house." And I'm like, "Dude, it wasn't. I wasn't saying it like you that." You sent me a text. You could have just said, "Could you turn?" the thermostat up. It's a little cold in You actually got up to go sh turn the heat up, and I had to sit you back down and say, no. Because I, I believed that you were cold, and you were cold. That's why you were sitting no, next to the I fire. No, was, I was saying it to a girl like that. I was just freezing like I was downplaying oh, so this the situation. Was, this was a complaint about the conditions then. Oh, my God. I can't win. I cannot win. Sitting between you and Zabransky, I simply <laughs> cannot win this argument. I'm, just, I'm surprised you, you took it as a slight, because it, it really wasn't. I and can't you, be myself around these guys. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! You're making me they sound like a know, pansy, man. They don't man. know the real me. Uh, the real me is cold. <laughs> I'm very cold. Like I'd ever complain now, aloud. Jackass now, is wearing no uh, no socks. By the way, he's got uh, boots on with no boots socks. And no socks. Yeah. My Timberlands and no and, socks. I just I, it, I never wear socks. That's all. It's a, it's as simple as that. Now I wasn't really cold. I was just merely conveying that I was, you know bored in a boring situation but i really wasn't I re it was like your pictures that you use tom uses pictures to send to people of innocuous places like in line at the bank or at the supermarket no, so i've got a great photo in my in my uh, phone it's a photo of like uh traffic like 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 traffic is like just stop like a sig alert and i'm like there and i took the picture it, this was taken on pico boulevard i think it was like last spring and it's in my phone. And every time I'm late to see some chick or some chick was expecting to see me, there I am. I'm in traffic. Take a look. It's, it's the same genius. picture. It's genius. I send the same picture every time. And I have various – it's like stock photos. It's stock photos like me in line at the supermarket, uh, me uh, standing at the gas station putting gas. And I put take a picture of the gas pump. I'm just putting gas in the car. See, here's the gas pump. And, uh, of course, I've sent these pictures to dozens of women, and they all believe that I was delayed because I had to put gas in the car. I was in traffic or whatever. I, I've done the same thing because of you. I've, I have a picture on my phone of me on your balcony during the day and at night. So in case I have to get out of something, I'm like, I'm at Tom's. I can't really get out of it. It's Did my you boss. take pictures standing in my property? You know, just to kind of stand out in the middle of nowhere there. Yeah, Absolutely. I'm kind of stuck up here at Tom's house. Not much going on. See, here I am. I have the Santa Barbara backup plan as a weekend out <laughs> at any given time. Who's going to argue with it? And you know what else is great about your Santa Barbara location is that I can say, you know what? We just don't get cell reception. So if my phone doesn't <laughs> work. It's not my fault. There's nothing there. Okay, I'm done. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Dave. And Cindy, wherever you are, thank you as well. It's 1-800-5800. Tom, this all started because of a story that said that Britney Spears was sending her alleged boyfriend 100 alleged text messages a day because she was afraid he was cheating on her, allegedly. Right. So, uh, do you uh, date people like this? Do tell. Tom Like It. 1 800 5800 Tom. 1 800 5800 866. Like It. In this day and age, for a man to get married, he's only looking to lose. It's the Tom Like It Show. From Hollywood, the lowest rung of the showbiz ladder, the Tom Likas Show. Thank you for tuning in. It's 1-800-5800-TOM. This is a show. This is the only show that says it's from Hollywood that has absolutely no celebrities on it whatsoever. We could do this show from a broom closet. It doesn't. Oh, oh in fact, we do. I was uh, <laughs> offered John Lovitz again today. So Again? Yes. 
Who offered you John Lovitz? We could have John Lovitz on. Who offered you John Lovitz? Um, I forget who it was. It may have been somebody from the Laugh Factory or somebody like that. I mean, I love John, but uh, you know, it's always the same names. And you know what's interesting? Like here we are in Hollywood. We're certainly conveniently located. There's 80 bazillion celebrities. None of them could be bothered to stop by here. They couldn't be bothered. I'm willing to bet there are celebrities that listen to this show who would love to come on this show, and they're wondering why they've never been asked. And you know what the reason is? Because their publicists have stonewalled us. Nobody's available when it comes to this show. Nobody. Well, John Lovitz is available, yes. But uh, is there anybody who's on, like, a current TV show? No. Movie? Movie coming out? Anybody come down here? Anybody you've ever heard of come down here? No. You're right, Dean. Tout the ratings. Number one in men. Number one in men. Come on. These guys have movies to hump. They don't come over here. They just don't. Do and, and so the result is we, we became number one without any celebrities. We don't need celebrities. And you know what's funny? Many of the same people who say no, like, the, no, I have no time, no, I can't come up. When they've got a, a project they've got to promote, suddenly they become available. Suddenly they're pushing to get on the show. Isn't that right, Gary? And uh, my attitude about it is, you know what? Uh, you weren't in any rush to come down here. <laughs> So now you can wait. Seriously. I mean, there's people who were on this show in the past. There are people who used to call us all the time, who later became like bigger names. George Lopez. And then suddenly they just like kind of disappear. <laughs> yeah. It's true. A bunch of people like that. Or there are these people who say, oh, yeah, we'd like to do your show. And that's after they've done every other morning show in town. So they've done, been on 17 other shows. Sometimes they've been on other shows on the same station here in L.A., on our station. After they've done the morning show and the midday show, then they want to come in here. It's like, no. <laughs> Absolutely not. So... If you happen to be a celebrity, and, and by the way, I have met celebrities who have said to me point blank, I don't ask, I don't care, I don't bring it up, I'm just saying hello at an event. People say, I'd really love to do your show. And you know why you haven't done it? You haven't done it because you get a publicist who says you don't do radio. You haven't done the show because... There's somebody in the publicity department at the network where you work or the movie studio that's producing your film or whatever that's saying you're not available. So if uh, you are a celebrity and you really, uh, really do want to do the show, you're really a listener, then you should just simply contact us directly. Just call uh, call CBS, call the radio station, whatever, and uh, tell them you want to come on the show. And we will put you on the show. I remember years and years ago when Sam Kennison was alive, I tried to get Sam Kennison to come on my show. And the publicists, and he was doing a sitcom for Fox at one time, they all said, oh, no, no, he's not available. And I went on the air and named him as on a list of people we were trying to get on. And I said, uh, you know, it's amazing. The guy's not available. I hear him on other radio shows, but he's not available to this one. And then Sam's brother, Bill, called me on the air, and he was a listener. He called in. He said, I had no idea you wanted Sam on. When do you want him on? He said, I said, how about tomorrow? And Bill Kinnison produced Sam Kinnison the next day in my studio. And that's what happened. And there's a lot of people like that out there. A lot of celebrities who listen to this show who've never been on the show. That's right, Dean. David Arquette called in. Called in on this show. That's right. But uh, you'd be surprised. There are probably celebrity listeners who say, you know, I'd love to do that show, but I've never been asked. What you don't know is that your publicist never told you. We have asked to have you on, and you just, uh, we were told that you were not available. So 
I will break this logjam and I will do an end run around all the publicists, any celebrity who wants to be on this show, somebody who's a legitimate top line name who has something to promote or just wants to come on because they're fans of the show. Uh, we will get you on the show, but you have to contact us because the publicists have stonewalled us. They won't put you on here. Number one in men. Hey, look, this radio show is number one in men in Southern California. You're telling me that doesn't have value to, like, a lot of the movies that come out? They're, they're looking for a young male crowd to uh, come see them? Or the few TV shows that appeal to males? Be no interest in that? No interest in coming on here and using uh, our uh, radio show to promote to them? Well, okay. Fine. But I've got a long memory. <laughs> Yes, yes, yes. Anyway, uh, 1-800-5800-TOM. What were we talking about here? Oh, yes, text messages. Anthony on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hello, Tom. Hello, Anthony. How's it going, man? I'm doing great. Hey, uh, yeah, this texting is really getting me on my nerves, man. Oh. I got I got a... I'm sorry, your truck's going by. I, I got a girl. Man, she's always texting her girlfriend's... Like, all day. Why can't she pick up the phone and have a conversation with her? She might as well be a deaf mute. And uh, she probably texts you as well. Oh, yeah. Man, it gets on my nerves. Why do you have a girlfriend? I don't know. I hope I hope she she's listening right now. I'm going to tell her straight out that I got a bunch of girls texting me, and I don't, I don't care, dude. <laughs> I got a bunch of ex-girlfriends and everything. Well, I don't understand why you have a girlfriend at all. Why don't you just tell her that uh, you're a free agent and be done with it? Because I, I want her to break up with me over the Tom Likish show. Oh, you, in other words, you want us to call her now? No, I can't call her now. She's at work. But she's definitely listening. How about to right now. after 5 o'clock Pacific time? Yeah, I can do that. Well, hold on. Dean will get your number. We'll do it on 101. What the hell? Perfect place for it. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. It's Tina on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hello. How are you? Great. Good. Um, a friend of mine turned me on to listening to your show, and I listen to it when I can, but that way I don't get static. But the text messaging has a very sore spot with him and I. I do it. He doesn't like it. It's almost ended a friendship. So I'd have to say that your show has done me good. Because his friendship's worth not losing, if that makes any sense. So by me telling you how much men hate getting all these text messages. Yeah, sometimes you have to have it thrown in your face to realize what the hell's going on. I will let my kids text message me and I'll text them back. That's fine. That, that's my kids, okay? But there are the majority of friends that I have that are males. They do not like this. They, excuse me, they don't like the crap. They really don't. And it's taken this to make me realize that they have a they have a good point, because I have a friend who text messages messages me a lot, and it's starting to get on my nerves. But I'm too nice to tell her because I. So what her. kinds of things were you saying in your text messages? Just a bunch of little itty bitty stuff that doesn't mean crap. Just you know, if I thought I saw something funny or a funny or a funny picture or something that was cute, I'd send it to him or whatever. And you know what? They don't want to hear about that. They want to have conversations that, you know, how are you doing? They'd rather talk. So it's it's, it's it's gotten the point across, okay? Plus, it costs them money. It costs me money. You know what I mean? It's just, it's it really isn't worth it unless both parties want to text. I, I just, you know, it's just more room for useless conversation. It, it is. It is. It's come in handy, though, with my kids. It's come in handy when they're in class. Well, your kids, you need to check up on me. You see, women use text messaging to check up on guys. And even when they're not, the guys feel like that's what you're doing. Yeah, yeah, that, that's kind of gotten across to me. Like, my friend was text my my girlfriend who I work with, she was text messaging me all day today. And I'm working, you know, and I don't want to be a butt and tell her, you know, don't do this, don't do that. But I, I get the meaning, and the meaning has come across. It's a pain in the derriere. It really is. You know, and it costs money. Yes. Well, now it's time for me to hang up on your derriere to uh, essentially electronically kick your derriere off the program. Our email address, tom at blowmeuptom.com. The Tom Likas Show.